Uh, how do you outspeed me? No, 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 no. Oh my god, I live on 16 health. For the love of god, sleep powder. That it stays asleep long enough for us to kill? Perfect. Side beam? Side beam? Side beam? Oh my god, we have one more Dragonite. Oh my god, stop using full heals, you piece of shit, Lance, you cheater! On one more, one more, let's do it with Gus because it's funny and it's a critical hit! Let's fucking go! We just fucking- Hello, my lovelies, my name is Lekka, and today we're going to be doing a Butterfree-only hardcore challenge here on the channel for my friend, the Top 5 Guy, who actually tipped me on my Twitch stream to do a Butterfree-only challenge, and it is real whipped cream. Delicious. I love that. Awesome. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the second song. <laughs> I'm so dirty. Excellent. Challenge because it was their favorite Pokemon. So I'm going to be doing this today for you, top five guy. So don't worry, Butterfree will be named after you, and we will be taking on the entirety of both Yoko and Kanto here in Pokemon Crystal Version. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure that you go ahead and like it because it helps us with the algorithm here. We're getting close to 100 followers, which means that we'll be able to get a specific, nice little succinct URL at the end of our name instead of having that disgusting alphanumeric little suffix at the end, which is going to be very nice, because I would like to just say, look them on, it'd be nice and cute, where I want it to be, but for now, I love you guys so much, and let's go ahead and get on into the video. Hey, 3.52, yikes, I overslept! Hello, sorry to keep you waiting, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, people call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other in harmony. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. And that was a Ladian that we just saw. All right, let's go ahead and get on over to where I can name my character because we are gonna be the always immaculate Lucker. All right, Professor Elm just gave us our really long spiel and we are going to pick Butterfree because obviously that's the best Pokemon to pick and take. So that's who we're gonna grab. Like I received the Butterfree as is tradition. And of course we're going to name our beautiful Butterfree after Top 5 Guy, who was the person, like I said in the intro, who gave us this challenge to begin with. So Top 5 Guy, this cute little bean is going to be named after you. And I definitely can't fit your full name in here. At least I don't think I can. No, there's not going to be room for it. But I can do Top... Actually, no, there will be room. Top 5? Yeah, there will be just enough for me to get your name in here. Top 5. Five and guy. Well, isn't that just serendipitous? It's meant to be. And we gotta go get on over to Cherry Grove. Let's go ahead and check out Five Guy. See how good of a Pokemon they are. Oh, they're already holding an item too, huh? Item. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Oh, it was a berry. Yeah, you don't need to be holding on to that right now. Let's check out your stats. Top Five Guy is a fact. A male Pokemon, and it knows Confusion, which is pretty freaking dope. Our special attack is 13, and our special defense is 13. So we have decent special and okay speed. We're already at 12, which is nice. Which is good to know. Now, because this is a hardcore Pokemon challenge, there is not going to be a level cap. Uh, the difference between a hardcore challenge and other ones is that I cannot use any items in battle. So, for example, if I'm going to be fighting bitches and whatnot, I can't use a potion in battle. I can only use potions to level up outside. I have to have it set on uh, set mode, actually, which I can do right now because not that it really matters for this one since <laughs> uh, there's only one Pokemon that we're going to be using, but it does matter for um, hardcore Pokemon challenges. You do have to love that Crystal has the little Pokemon animations, which I always think but we're gonna keep moving on forward here. I'm not gonna get Butterfree up to level 100 because that would just be way too easy. The entire point is to make it so that it's as low leveled as possible for everything that shows up here. We can't capture any other Pokemon because there's no point in doing so. Spring tree and we got a berry, let's go. But held items are allowed. So I can give Five Guy a berry. I can in fact give Five Guy 
um, mint berries or uh, ice berries or anything that I uh, really want them to. Nice. All right, thank you for the map. Appreciate you. Go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then I will be back after we've already gotten the thing to Professor Oak, and we're gonna be fighting our rival. And here's our rival. Apparently saying that we're a waste of space, and we are just going to confusion the fuck out of Totodile, and there it is. Easy heckin' peasy. All right, show me your ID. Accidentally give me your name. That way when I go to Professor Oak's lab, uh, Professor Oak, Professor Elm's lab, that you just completely ransacked to steal that Totodile, I can go ahead and tell them that it was you. And it's amazing to me that the rival never gets found by the cop, but it just goes to show how completely incompetent every single fucking adult is in the Pokemon universe. You know what? I'm gonna have my rival's name this time be Crooked, who was my editor for the stream stream. So there we go. Just because I feel like it. What's this? Your rival is evolving. I love how this says it's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. The bell sprout tower when you go and you click on the end of this this picture that's hanging out here at the end. <laughs> Not to be confused with a weak painting, but a powerful one. Now that I've taken on all of Bell Tower and we are level 13, I have Poison Powder, which is great, and they have Peck, so that's why I wanted to be at a higher level, because I wanted to hopefully get some other moves besides just Confusion and do a status move onto them, because they're gonna know things that are super effective against me. So there we go, that one is poisoned and it ended up dying, which is great, so we're gonna do it again. And confusion and dead. Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna go back and heal up and we're gonna take on Faulkner. Alright, Faulkner with the really cool blue hair. Let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? Let's uh doesn't have any effect. There we go. Alright, poison powder, confusion, and we're gonna do the same thing here. Didn't affect Pidgeotto. Yes, it fucking did. Stop hurting me! And we died. Okay, well, let's do that where the poison powder actually RNG favors us this time, and we actually victory. Because I should be able to do that. It's level 11, so the gust definitely hurts, considering that we are um, bug type here. Oh, and poison killed it, which is great. Come on, poison powder. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, that was super effective, but I should be able to live one more. Okay, perfect. And confusion? Is it gonna be enough? It is! Because the poison powder was enough to get it down, tick just enough to be able to do it. Let's fucking go. We only had to be level 13 to make it happen. And now we have Stun Spore 2 for another status move. Let's go. Give me that badge, Faulkner. In the bag. Got it! Yeah, they should have given me a flying type move, but, you know. It's Generation 2. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Hey there, Lekko. The guard up there took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. Well, maybe you shouldn't slam down on your back falling down a giant well trying to take on Team Rocket when you have literally no plan other than to have a 10-year-old come and take care of problems for you. Again, all of the adults in the Pokemon universe are incompetent as shit, but this will be pretty easy because I have all of the scores now on my freaking fracking Five Guy, and Five Guy also knows Confusion, and considering basically all of their Pokemon are poison types, this is going to be a piece of cake. And we one-shot the copying. Perfect! Hey, let's go ahead and take on our rival here, and shabam! Ghastly, which we can one-shot because it's poison typing. Too bad, which we can one-shot because it's poison typing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna sleep powder. I said we're gonna sleep powder the Croconaw. Thank you. And it woke up anyway for whatever reason. And it doesn't matter. And we're good. Yay! Crooked was a piece of cake, as is going to be this gym. I am 100% certain. Because the same kind of situation applies where a lot of bug types also happen to be poison types. So it's going to be us to come through and kill everything. Okay, Bugsy, let's go ahead and take you out. This is gonna be because it's just a normal one. Now we have the Scyther here. Let's go ahead and stun score it. There we go, that way it's paralyzed. That way I know that I'm faster and I can just continue to critical hit it and prevent it from attacking me. Great, we're going to powder the Kakuna because it knows not only Harden, but also Poison Sink. I don't want to get poisoned. And that's Bugsy down. Easy peasy, second gym badge done. You just fucking disabled my shit? Well, how dare you? I'll just have to wait until it's not disabled anymore, I guess. I will... I'm fast asleep. Alright, fully paralyzed. Ah, I guess that's the problem of having only one attacking move. 
Um, is it going to be disabled for the whole thing? Because if that's true, I'm going to just have to struggle, and that's going to be kind of funny. <laughs> or just die, which uh, is also an option. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just are fucked here because we only have that one thing, that fucking Jigglypuff disabled for us to not be able to get out here. Please, for the love of God, tell- nope. That move is disabled. Yep, yeah, they, they broke the code. Finally did. Oh, thank God. Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We're not even super over-leveled. We're actually pretty on par for going on and taking Whitney at Whitney's ace Pokemon for the Miltake, but I just think that that was hilarious that the only attacking move we have right now is confusion still, is uh, the thing that got disabled that we weren't able to do a goddamn thing. <laughs> Jigglypuff overpowered, question mark, exclamation mark. Flip bait, totally not. It's it's not. It's just against us. Very particular. There we go. My disable. My stuff is no longer disabled and dead. Okay, Whitney, come here and let's do this thing. All right, let's go ahead and confusion and confusion. All right, and then we are going to stun spore the. Oh my god, that was super effective. It was, I was supposed to stun spore you, Milton. God damn it. All right, we're gonna try that again. All right, so this time I have. Did you just fucking confuse me, goddamn whore? And I hurt myself in confusion. How dare you? All right, you're paralyzed. Get fucked. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead is we are going to sleep powder rather than uh, put it to the other one there because I just want it to stay asleep. And it's gonna stay asleep. And it's gonna stay asleep. And it woke up, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it used milk drink, so it kind of matters. Uh, we're gonna put it to sleep again, because if it's asleep, it can't hurt me, and it can't roll out me if it's unconscious! Yes! Fuck you, you unconscious cow! Let's go! We got it! And now I'm level 25, which isn't even that higher level! Butterfree is doing much better than I expected it to do up to this point, early game, but I feel like it's going to 100,000% completely fall apart late game. Gotta take on all the kimono girls, with all of their different... Pokemans, so that we can get strength, and then get Morty back into his fucking gym. Oh my god. Oh my god! Espeon, you are so annoying because the only attacking move I have is something that you resist. Higgity god damn it. Okay, do I have to fight you again? Nope, I- okay, just you. Heard. So that means that we are going to counter you because you're annoying. And then- Anytime you wake up, we're just gonna put you back to sleep again. Go to sleep for a- actually, you're close enough to me. Perfect. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. I can do this with the other Kimono girls as well. Oh Shit! It doesn't affect the enemy Umbreon because it's Umbreon is a dark type. Um, uh, Whirlwind doesn't do anything. Ooh, okay. Um... I can paralyze it. I mean, I'm just going to have to waste all of my PP and then go into struggle mode. That's literally the only thing I can do is go into struggle because I don't have something else. Okay, so we are completely called by dark type Pokemon is uh, what this means. So it doesn't have any effect. Oh, this is stolly as shit. Okay, I need to look up Butterfree's moveset and then see if there's anything I can do to teach you something so that we don't have to just go through the struggle. <laughs> All right, here's my solution to all of this is, boom, we now have Gust instead that we can actually attack shit. And Gust is, in fact, a, I think, physical move in this generation? Yeah, Gust in this one is physical, and then at 34, we learn Side Beam. So uh, we're putting Gust on, and then we actually get rid of the Pokemans, which is great, so that we will have something that we can hit on the physical side, something we can hit on the special side, and then we uh, will be able to learn Psy Beam at level 34, and that's the last good move we learn. We can learn Giga Drain, we can learn Psychic, but we don't get Psychic until after we've already beaten four. and Giga Drain I don't think we get access to until Erica as well, which is, again, after the Elite Four. So our post-game moveset will be better, but going to the Elite Four is basically just going to be Gus, Psy Beam, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. So, not a whole lot of great options for us, really, but there we go. This is always such a cool part to see. 
have all of them turn from stone into a statue. And Suicune comes to you and is like, I choose you. The chosen one. The chosen one! Aww! Look at me, it's so cute! Aww, too bad I'm not using it this run. Eventually we will do one for a challenge, but not this time. Okay, Morty. Let's go ahead and get this going. Should be able to just, yeah, Oko you and Oko you and maybe Oko you? Oh, okay. Basically, I was able to Oko the entire team with just confusion, which doesn't surprise me considering that I am level 33 after having gone through all the Komodo skills and having done everything up to this point. So, again, early game Butterfree is actually really good, but that's going to change very, very soon. And here is our last good move of the game, Side Beam, which is basically just a better confusion until we're able to get Psychic to get 80, and then Giga Drain to replace Whirlwind. But for now, all right, we're going to have Side Beam, Whirlwind, Gust, and Sleep Powder as our moveset. All right, Chuck might just be easy as easy as one, two, three. Let's go ahead and see. And I'm actually kind of impressed that the Primeape was able to survive one. And it wasn't just a, uh, uh, uh. Okay, so each of them basically was a two-hit KO, but still nothing crazy. And that's another gym badge in the bag with the uh, Chuck. So, awesome. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Jasmine, I got your freaking fracking Ampharos, their thingy-majig. So let's go ahead and just sleep powder your boo and just continue to side beam you in the face. Perfect. Kind of going to be my plan for all of this is just one, uh, 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 two, uh, uh, uh three. And do the same thing here. Holy shit, Rock Slide did way too much fucking damage. Fortunately, Side Boom is not super effective, and I died. Okay, so I'm just gonna really have to hope for sleep, Rock Slide misses, and then just keep doing that till it happens. <laughs> awesome! Alright, I'll see you guys on the winning run. Yo, I think this is gonna be the one. Here we go, because I was able to have it be asleep. Oh shit, and she used a Hyper Potion. I forgot that she had access to those. God damn it. That's okay. Then we get one-shotted. I fucking hate it here. Okay, cool. It failed. And I put it back to sleep again. So then one. Two. And you better not have a second hyper potion. And it hurt itself with confusion because it's a dick. Let's go! Sweet! We got it! Fuck you, Jasmine, and your goddamn Pokemon that resists the only two attacking moves I have because Butterfree seems like it's really good, but it's deceptively terrible. I have a guy, I love you, and Butterfree is a cool Pokemon, but Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, here we go. All right, Price, let's go ahead and fucking kill your entire team. Go ahead and sleep powder your Dugon so it stops doing shenanigans. And we're gonna side beam it to death, and then we're going to sleep powder. Come on, there we go. Pile of swine, and side beam one, side beam two, and of course he has a hyper potion. Okay, but I can side beam three, and it's dead. Okay, perfect. Done. And that is the seventh gym badge now in the bag. All right, Claire, we're going to go ahead and sleep powder. And then we're going to put up a safeguard because I don't want to be status by any of your other bullshit Pokemon that are coming out here. I'm going to oh, that. And we're going to put you to sleep, put you to sleep, and dead. Another Dragonair, we're going to put you to sleep. Same shit. Different day. Destruction, domination, and then sent out a Kingdra. We are going to sleep powder. We are going to side beam, side beam, side beam, side beam, and you're gonna hyper potion. Side beam, side beam again, sleep powder, and side beam, side beam, and side beam. Okay, and there we go. That would be Claire defeated. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. No, there's not. You just suck. Bye, Claire. Hey, oh wise man. Hmm, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Let's send you here. Right, but I'm going to have to test. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, they're definitely a pal. Uh, definitely raising. Uh huh, a hundred percent. Anybody, any, any heart, love, of course. Oh yes, both. And all that matters is it's the Pokemon that you care about the most. Definitely, it's not based on stats and RNGs. So that's definitely not a factor whatsoever. All right, finally, you gave me the badge, you little bitch. God, I hate Claire so much. Speaking of. All right, cool, you gave me a TM that I'm never gonna be able to use because I'm using only Butterfree. All right, Crooked, my faded rival. Let's go ahead and sleep powder your Sneasel so it can't do any shenanigans to me. Because it's a dark ice type, I can't use Psybeam against it. So we're also gonna sleep powder the Wolf Bat because I don't want any other shenanigans to happen. 
going to side beam and then gust, and we're going to sit powder the magneton, and we're also going to side beam it because it does the most amount of damage, and we can perfect, so it's not going to be any issue whatsoever. Uh, Haunter, yeah, I was pretty confident we'd be able to one shot. Alligator, we're going to put it to sleep, <coughs> and we're going to do the same thing of side beaming it until it's basically dead and gust it to death. Perfect. Have a cadaver here that I'm going to use. Sleep powder on, and then we will just confess it to death. And there we go. I, I, I could win. No, you couldn't, Crooked, but you know what? You're a fantastic editor, so don't quit your day job. All right, so we're about to take on the Elite Four, and before we do that, we're going to be looking at top five guy to show you guys what they're looking like here. So we have Psybeam, Gust, Sleep Powder, and Safeguard, and that's going to be the moveset that we have going on into it. You can see that our special attack and special defense are the exact same at 110. Our attack absolutely sucks, so we're not going to use Gust unless we really, really need to. And our speed is 100, which is pretty damn high, especially only being at level 50. I'm surprised that we haven't had to be much higher level to get through the game. I thought the Butterfree was going to be a really bad Pokemon, but I'm surprised at how capable this bug flying type Pokemon is in actually taking on everything. So I am very, very impressed by it. So let's go ahead and take on this Psychic type Will as our first combatant. We're gonna just do our usual strategy of putting it to sleep, and then I'm just gonna side beam up. And I see you. Okay. And I would like to gust you, god fucking damn it! There we go. We're gonna do the same thing here. Of course, I hurt myself. And that's gonna be the first whiteout, so that's unfortunate. But you know what? That just happens, and we don't end up too far away from where we were to start with. And I don't think I'm gonna need to be really high level. That was just pretty bad RNG. Okay, got it. Boom. Shakalaka done. Whew, okay, so we were finally able to take down Will. It took us being level 56 slash 7 in order to do it, but we didn't have a whole lot of options with our really weak gust that we had to use against all the Pokemon because all the other ones resisted our own psychic type move that we knew besides that. But we are able to make it through, so now Koga should be an absolute walk in the park because I can put up the same kind of thing. I can put this one to sleep. I can put up Safeguard so I can avoid being poisoned. And then I can just gust everything and or side beam everything and just have everyone die, which will be nice and nice and easy. So let's go ahead and put Venonat to sleep. And then we're going to gust it and gust it. And Fortress, we're going to put to sleep. And I don't really have a whole lot for it other than my side beam, which there we go. We were able to do that without it dying. Great. Sleep muck. And side beam and side beam. Okay, there we go. And that's Koga done. Very, very <laughs> simple and straightforward. Perfect. Let's uh, heal ourselves up and move on to the next <laughs> member of the Elite Four. Bruno should be pretty easy to take on just because of his typing. The only thing I'm really concerned about is potentially getting rock slided because all of his Pokemon seem to know that move, especially Onyx. So you can just take him out with out too many problems that would be preferred come on sleep powder thank you and side beam and we're gonna side beam again get the champ out of the way and then we're gonna sleep powder the hitmon leo i will also have get out of the way and that's bruno done easy 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 so now we get to take on agatha who also shouldn't be too difficult i'm gonna forward store up again though just because i have them and that's the entire point of them to begin with so we're gonna forward store our top five guy save and then try and do the same thing of making sure that she gets better oh it's not agatha it's karen in this generation oh this is gonna suck i'm gonna need to make sure that i definitely safeguard sleep powder and do all of those shenanigans because i don't want to get confused i don't want to get poisoned and i don't want to get attracted either which i'm pretty sure safeguard protects against crack but i guess we're gonna find out okay so we're gonna put umbreon to sleep because it's annoying as fuck otherwise and we are going to safeguard and then we're gonna gust and then we're gonna gust and it's dead now we need to do the same thing with houndoom here luckily it takes pretty decent damage gust great i'm so happy we hit that sleep powder okay and sleep because you need to stay out of my way and definitely not curse me because that would be absolute hell okay and murkrow was asleep and such a shitty shitty pokemon same thing, we're going to put it to sleep, and we're going to side beam, and we're going to side beam. And that's Karen defeated. Sweet! Okay, and now we just need to take on Lance. Lance's room is really cool. I love the little Dragonair statues that they've made them go from basic Pokemon to ones you can actually see what the hell they are. I think that's a nice little touch. 
All right, Lance, of all of your Pokemon, the only one that I am most concerned with is going to be that fucking... No, not Dragonite. As much as you guys would be like, oh, but Dragonite, because it can blizzard you and all that shenanigan. And you're like, well, yes, that's true. However, if it's asleep, it's not an issue. The Aerodactyl is the one, because I can take a couple hits of Thunder or Blizzard or whatever, plus they don't have the best accuracy. Uh, it's mostly this thing that I'm most concerned about here, so... Uh, how do you outspeed me? No, 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 no. Oh my god, I live on 16 health. For the love of god, sleep powder. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And so now we have to just hope and pray that it stays asleep long enough for us to kill. Perfect. Okay, and then Charizard. A five guy used sleep powder, fell asleep. And then side beam, side beam, side beam. Oh my god, we have one more Dragonite. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Sleep Powder? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to broke and... Okay, Beacon Confused. Perfect. Sleep Powder, so now it's asleep and confused. Oh my god, stop using full heals, you piece of shit. Lance, you cheater! I can't use items, you can't use items. Come on, one more, one more. Let's do it with Gus because it's funny and it's a critical hit! Let's fucking go! We just fucking sweeped... The Elite Four and Champion Lance with a goddamn Butterfree that took a four times weak rock type rock slide to the face and survived, even though Aerodactyl outsped. And we were able to get everything off. Oh my god, we were so lucky with the amount of sleep turns for sure, because otherwise we would have 100% died, but still. <laughs> Holy shit, that's amazing. And then Professor Oak will come in here and do his whole big spiel and whatnot. However, uh, we're going to go ahead and absolutely put our beautiful, beautiful bean into the Elite Four. Oh, Five Guy, you did good. But we're not done yet because that was only the first part of the game. We still have to go through and do all the eight gym leaders in the Kanto region, which is pretty anticlimactic except for Blue because they're all at a lower level than what you would normally see. And then, of course, we have to take on Red himself, which is going to be very interesting with only Butterfree. So up to this point, pretty well. The fact that by the time we beat it, we were level 60, not bad for only having a Butterfree. Safeguard actually has been way more useful than I thought it was going to be and has saved our ass so many times because if I didn't have Safeguard for those status conditions, I would have had to have leveled up Butterfree to be a way, 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 way higher level to have taken on the Elite Four. So the moveset Butterfree has and the stats and speed in general that it has as well for having that three triple digit at level 50, it had a hundred speed for its base set. It was really, really good. So yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with Butterfree so far, but let's go ahead and finish out the part two of this game and see how it does against all the other gym leaders in red. Hello, sorry to interrupt. Lekka asked me to do a quick speed run of the gyms leading up to blue, so we're going to do this in style. I didn't realize that we were going to be rushed by Crooked here, so that's interesting. Uh, when we rocked into the cave, I forgot about that. Uh, can you just fucking not, bro? And Okay. Well, I was not prepared for that, but uh, let's go ahead and try that again and not get completely destroyed by Crooked. But... Okay, Crooked, you caught me off guard once, but a sneak attack only works once. So let's just go ahead and get you out of here. Let's go ahead and side beam you to death. Uh, I'm definitely going to need a sleep powder. And we're gonna side beam, side beam, and side beam, okay? And you, I can just one shot with the side beam. Uh, worry me, so I want to fucking sleep powder you. Yeah. And we're gonna side beam, side beam, and side beam. And Alakazam, again, worry me. So we're gonna gust, and we're gonna gust. And there we go. Now Crooked's down. See, I told you, Crooked, attacks only work once. Stick to editing, you're amazing at that. Okay, Gary, let's go ahead and sleep powder your bitch and go one and two. Nice, we're gonna one shot your right on because I can. And then we're going to sleep. We're gonna full restore, which is plain as hell. We're gonna sleep you and you're going to full. And we're going to sleep you. 
I mean, if you want to waste all of your forest stores on Arcanine, I am all about it, my guy. Okay, Rain continues to fall. You're gonna Hydro Pump. You're gonna fucking put them to sleep is what you're gonna do. And we're gonna Twister. Twister. And... Or Psychic, I mean. They did Twister. Okay, we're gonna put it to sleep. How much does Giga Drain do? Not much, and I got barely anything back from it. Okay, so we're gonna Psychic. 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 I'm gonna Giga Drain. That way I can get some health back. Okay, we're gonna put you to sleep. I'm gonna Giga Drain you. Giga Drain. And Giga Drain you. Okay, perfect. And that's Gary done! There we go! And Butterfree is only level 67, which is pretty rad. Now, I'm gonna have to level Butterfree up pretty high in order to take on Red, but hopefully not super high. I'm gonna see how badly I get mollywhopped by Red at 67, and then we're gonna go from there. Alright, Red. This time, my Butterfree is level motherfucking 90. And so I have a very good feeling about this one. So you can go ahead and full restore up all you want. I was able to get a critical hit on that, which is great. Let's go ahead and click sleep. And then we are going to psychic this bitch all the way till the cows come home. Let's go ahead and put you to sleep and giga drain you. That basically took half of its health, which is great. I'm a little sad it didn't completely uh, kill it as a two KO, but I mean, it is what it is. Let's see if we can put to sleep because I don't want amnesia happening at all. We're gonna psychic, special defense fell, which is great. Psychic again. Psychic again, and Psychic again. Perfect. Snorlax is gone. We're gonna see if we can put, yep, Venusaur to sleep as well, and also Psychic the Venusaur. That'll be a two-hit KO. Perfect. And then we have Espeon, who we are going to have go to sleep. Goodbye. Okay, and Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Fast asleep. Giga Drain, and Espeon fainted. Poofty Poofty, and that's gonna be Pokemon Trainer Red defeated with just a Butterfree at only level 90. We did not even need to be level 100, but we could not beat it at level 81. It was way too difficult to get past the Snorlax when it was only at that level, so we had to get it up just a little bit higher. But still, the fact that we were able to take on Red and essentially beat the entire game with just Butterfree is amazing. I probably would not have been able to do that if I had only still had access to Gus because Giga Dream was such a big part of getting that recovery back in the game, especially since we can't use items in a hardcore Nuzlocke challenge, but that is top five guy challenge that uh, he tipped me for to <laughs> complete it, of going through with his favorite Pokemon of just Butterfree. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure that you go ahead and like this video because it was very, very fun to make, and keep an eye out for the next video, which is going to be an Ice-type only hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Crystal Virgin, so you're going to be able to see even more again to goodness, but without taking up any more else time, I will go ahead and let you Beautiful people.